everyone. So today we're going to be trying out some newer, new-ish e.l.f. products. I have several items here that we're going to go through and try out together. I've got the bronzing drops that everyone has been talking about. We've got a mascara to try out. And of course, we have the viral liquid blush as well as the pout clout lip products. So if you would like to see me try all of these products and know what I think about them, then definitely keep watching. So I did get all three colors of the bronzing drops and I will share some color comparisons and swatches for you guys so you can try to figure out which one is best suited for you if you're interested in picking these up. And I do have a couple other makeup items we're gonna be trying out. Some have been out a little bit longer than others, but I am trying these out for the first time. And I apologize, it is a super hot day today and I just am sweating. It's one of those days where you've got the AC cranked and it's just not cutting it. So please excuse my very kind of sweaty look today, but there's nothing I can do. And sitting in front of these lights are not helping. So starting off with, of course, the e.l.f. bronzing drops, which I'm sure you guys are most interested in. I did get all three colors of these. These are $12 a piece at e.l.f. So the first color they have is called Rose Gold. And they say that this one is a rose gold shimmer for fair to medium skin tone. Next, we have the color Pure Gold, and this one is a yellow gold shimmer. It says this one is suited for light to tan skin tones. And finally, we have the third color. This one is called Copper Gold. This one is a copper gold shimmer, and this one is suited for medium to rich skin tones. So I'm gonna show you guys some swatches of these out in the sunlight so you can see a true idea of the color tones between these. And one thing that struck me was I don't really feel like there is as large of a shade jump from color to color. Obviously the darkest one is darker than the lightest color, but it just seems to be very gradual shifts in the depth of the shade. And you're really just kind of getting a different undertone of the product. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of think that most skin tones can get away with going with any of the colors and it's really just about how much you are applying to the skin or mixing into foundation or however you want to apply these. Which brings me to my next point of how do you use these? So on the directions here, it says that you need to shake well before use and it says add one to three drops to your favorite e.l.f. skin moisturizer. Any moisturizer will do or you can add it to your favorite face oil or body cream and blend it in. It also says that the more drops that you add, the more bronze that you will get. So you can kind of mix or match and use this however you want. So for the first way to apply this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I apply this color with a moisturizer to my skin. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like if I apply it in with my foundation. And I will let you guys know which method I prefer and how they look on me. All right, so for today, I am gonna be using the rose gold color. That is what they consider the lightest shade. So I'm gonna go with that one today. And I am going to apply it with a moisturizer. So today I am just using the Ahava Time to Hydrate Moisturizer. I got this from one of my subscription box recently. So I'm actually going to apply this to the back of my hand. I probably applied a little bit too much, but that is okay. Let me kind of wipe some of that off and we'll, we'll reserve some of that. So I'm gonna give this a really good shake. I'm gonna do like three drops of this. Now, one thing I have to say is that this isn't quite a liquid, so you can't really do like three precise drops. It is much more of like a cream kind of consistency. So I kinda just went with like three little squeezes on there so you can see what that is like. Now I'm going to mix this up onto the back of my hand so you can kinda see what we are going with today. All right, and I'm just going to apply this directly to my skin. So this is how it looks on me applied to my skin. It definitely gives a little bit of that very slight glow, but sometimes I feel like it just doesn't quite look right on me. And I don't know if that's just because the rest of my body isn't self tanned right now, but if my body was self tanned and my face is a little bit paler, I feel like this would be a really good way to kind of like match my face to my body. So I like that option, but for right now, I feel like this isn't my favorite way to apply this. And I'm not gonna lie, I also thought, well, maybe I would like this for like a no makeup day where I just kind of want to give my skin some color but I don't really feel like putting a foundation on and I'm not gonna lie I don't really love how this looks on me with no makeup on it kind of does this weird thing where I feel like the tanness almost accentuates the imperfections of my skin without any makeup on so for me personally this is not gonna be like a no makeup just throw it on kind of product for me because I really feel like it does not 
make me look better. I feel like it kind of brings out the flaws in my skin a little bit more, which is kind of strange. But one way I have found that I prefer to use this product is to actually mix it in with my foundation. And I find that this does a really good job at bringing my foundation closer to a more natural skin tone for me. I have such a hard time finding a good foundation that isn't too yellow, and I have several foundations that I love formula-wise, but the color is just not it, and this is the one I'm currently using. This is a Korean BB cream product that I have not used in forever, and I've recently rediscovered it because I had so many backups of this in my collection, and I'm like, okay, I need to break this out again because I need to weed out my collection. So I have been using this one again. This is from Apu and it is called the Base Maker. And this one is in the color 20. And this one is called Vanilla Beige. So this one, I'm going to do a quick little swatch of this onto my face so you can see like what the color itself looks like. I love the formula of this, but it definitely does go a little on the yellow side. So this is what the color looks like on my hand. And if I swatch it onto my skin, it is extremely yellow and I don't love that, but I have been mixing actually a different product in and it was a product that I've had for a while and I didn't like it for its original intended use. And so I hate wasting products. So I tried to see if I liked it more as like a foundation mix in product. And I found that that has been so great. And that's how I've been using that product, but now I'm almost out of it. And I don't think it's a product that exists anymore. So I'm hoping this will be a really good alternative to that. So once again, I'm gonna shake this really well and I'm gonna add several drops of this to the foundation to kind of adjust the tone a bit. So I've got about like that. So now when I adjust that color, I think you can see how much yellow it takes out of the foundation and it actually brings it to a much more suitable color for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dot this all over my face and we are gonna apply this all over and see what it looks like. So overall, I feel like it made my foundation a lot more of a better shade match for me because it is just so crazy at how yellow foundations are, and I find that it's so hard for me to find one that doesn't look like yellow cheese on my face. So I really like using those mixing drops to kind of tone down the yellowness in the foundations that I'm currently using. And I find that the rose gold color does a pretty good job at kind of toning it down a bit while also giving me just a little bit more of a glow. So really quickly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a concealer to my under eyes to brighten up that area, and we're gonna move on to the next product. It's also just so, so warm today. It's just one of those days where everything you put on your skin just feels like it will not set. So today is probably not the best day to try all this out, but hey, it is summer and there is nothing else I can do. It's just one of those sweaty girl days, if you know what I mean. Like, nothing is going to cool me down. And this actually wasn't part of this haul originally, but since I was going to be using this one today and it is an e.l.f. product, I thought I'd throw it in here. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, and this one came out, I believe, last spring, last summer. So I am actually almost done with mine, and I really like this product. So I'm going to use this as, like, my contour kind of color. So I just like to do a little stripe of that on my cheekbone and then dot it along my forehead. That is what I'm going to do to kind of give my face a little bit of definition. All right, so the next product I'm gonna be using today, now these have been out for quite a while, I would say, but I had just never tried these. I'd been interested in them, but I don't know, I just hadn't picked one up until now. And these are the Camo Liquid Blushes, and I believe that these are supposed to be like kind of similar to like the Rare Beauty Cream Blushes. And the one that I got is in the color Dusty Rose, and I'm very glad that I have tried these out just a couple times before now, because now I know exactly what to expect. So so just for a quick comparison of what I have been using for the last several months because I'm trying to use it up is the Juicy Pong Blusher. I got this from, it was from Yes Style. It was a PR product that they sent me, so I did get this for free. I do really like this product, but this one is a very light, almost like a watercolor type of blush where you can really apply it and it has such a light wash of color. So since I had been using that for so long, the first time I used this, I made 
majorly over applied it. So this is definitely one that has a lot of pigmentation to it and you really do not need nearly as much as you might think. So I would definitely say apply this with a very light hand. So I'm just gonna go like two little dots, like literally two little dots of this. We will always come back and add more if we need it, but you will see this really does pack a punch just from those two little dots that I applied. That was like the perfect amount, but I do want to apply just a little bit more so you can see kind of how you can build it up. Again, two tiny little dots. And very, very blushy. So I really, really do like this product. And I'm so glad that this isn't the first time I've used this one because like I said, I had crazy doll cheeks the very first time I used this because I was so used to packing on that other product. But this will absolutely last you so long just because you do not need much product at all. So I actually really enjoy this product. It is a very nice bold kind of liquid blush and I really really enjoy it. So I feel like these are really really worth it if you want to pick up a color or two. I don't think you'll regret it unless you truly don't like a super pigmented kind of blush. But like I said, you just need to work very lightly with this one. But it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Another e.l.f. product that again is not part of this haul but it is what I've been using lately so I thought I'd throw it in here. I don't even know if they still sell this because I have had this for quite a bit and it was one of those products where I'm like I probably need to get on using this or else it's something that I feel like could dry out and this is the elf jelly highlighter so like I said I don't know if they still sell this or not and mine is in the color bubbly so basically it's like this jelly like slime consistency highlighter and at first I really didn't like it but the more I'm using it I'm actually really really liking this one so I apply it just with my finger and it looks pretty crazy when you first apply it but kind of just trust the process and I just tap it out with my finger I do have to blend quickly so I like to work one side at a time but I feel like this is a really pretty like super kind of glowy glossy kind of highlighter and I just really, really like how it looks. So this is another product that you use basically none of it and it gives you this really pretty glow. So this is one of those products I feel like would last me forever. So I'm really trying to work on using it because it's also one of those products I can see like drying up if I am not careful. So this has been the highlighter I have been using for a couple months now. And like, I'm serious you guys, I use the tiniest, tiniest bit. Like that was way too much. <laughs> I'm also playing around with maybe using this like all over underneath like my foundation as like a really dewy kind of under highlight. But you can just see like how glowy glossy my skin looks. I think I went a little bit overboard today, especially with the bronzing drops too. They did add a little bit of glow to the skin already. But we're just going with like glossy glowy sweaty girl today. That's just kind of the name of the game. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and we're going to come back and try the last two products for this haul. And that is going to be a mascara and a lip product. So I will be back in just a few. Okay guys, we are back. I just did a super quick, simple kind of bronzy glowy kind of eyeshadow look. I decided to skip eyeliner today so that you would be able to see the effects of the mascara as best as you could. So today we are going to be doing the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara. And I have mine in the color Pitch Black. I believe that's the blackest black they have. So I'm not going to lie, I have never found an e.l.f. mascara that I have personally enjoyed. And I have tried a lot of them and just none of them have been my favorite. So I'm hoping that I'm going to like this one because I just really want Want to like an elf mascara and this one is actually supposed to be a tubing mascara which I have also never tried before but if you're not familiar with tubing mascara basically it's supposed to be like a mascara that creates these little tubes around your lashes and it's supposed to be super easy to remove this mascara with warm water so I'm really excited to see if that is the case with this because I have to say I have a love-hate relationship with most mascaras. I love putting it on and I love the effects of it, but I hate taking it off. And I feel like sometimes I end up losing more lashes. So it's kind of a nippy subject. <laughs> so I have already curled my lashes to give this the best chance ever. I don't have the best lashes ever. I definitely don't have the worst lashes ever either, but I definitely don't have like beautiful, gorgeous long lashes that any mascara will look good on. So let's go ahead and apply this. Okay, so 
first thing I've noticed is that this one definitely gives me a bit more length, but I definitely wouldn't say it gives me that much volume, which I don't think it is necessarily advertising. It's definitely a very black though, and I'm kind of just going through and kind of combing my lashes out and seeing like if this will get clumpy. So far the first coat, it doesn't really seem to be that clumpy, but it's not really giving me a whole, whole lot. I think it's definitely giving me a little bit of length, but really it's just darkening my lashes more than anything. Yeah, so the box says that it is a length and definition mascara, so I'm definitely not expecting it to really give much volume or thicken the lashes, but let's go ahead and apply it to the other eye and we'll let that first coat dry and go in with a second coat. And the brush is a tapered plastic bristle brush. It doesn't have very long bristles, so I like that it's not too pokey. And since it does have the shorter bristles, it is a very good like kind of combing mascara brush. All right, definitely give me a little bit more of like a fluttery soft kind of lash on this side. So let's go back with the second coat and see what that gives us. don't think I like this with the second coat. It kind of gave me like spider lashes with that second coat. And I don't really think it added much to the length either. So, so I think that's the best I can get from this mascara. Really the real test for me is seeing how does this remove. I'm really intrigued to see if it really comes off as easily as it's supposed to. I believe you're supposed to be able to just remove it like with warm water. So hopefully that's the case. It says easily removed by massaging with warm water or holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm, which is their, their cleansing balm. So overall, the mascara itself, just like from an application standpoint, it seems not that crazy or that unique really. I don't think it gives me the best lash look that I could, but I don't have the best lashes either, so I feel like it's kind of doing the best it can. So I will definitely have to see more of what the removal process of this is like, but so far just from what the mascara itself is giving me, it's pretty meh, and I don't know. So far I don't think I would repurchase it. So the last product we're going to be trying out together is a lip product. This is the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen, and this one is in the color Just Peachy. Now this is like a very popular kind of product right now at the moment. There are so many brands that have this kind of product. I think that MAC has come out with something like this. I think Tarte might have been like the one to kind of kick off this trend. ELF has one. I have one from She Glam that I actually really love that I've had for probably about at least a year now. So I really do like these types of products, but it really irritates me whenever I see people on TikTok or Instagram who are going for that like rage bait kind of thing where they apply these by pushing up way too much of the product and then getting pissed off when the product breaks off. This is basically like a barely solid lip gloss and so you just have to apply this accordingly. Now I like these types of products so I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to like this but I do want to start off by applying a little bit of a lip liner and this is just the first one I found. So this is one of my favorite lip liners. This is from NYX and this one is in the color nude pink so I'm just going to do a quick little line. All right, and now the trick to these, you guys, if you will see, it is a little lip dispenser like this with a button on the bottom to dispense the product. You literally just need to click it until it ever so slightly is raised, like millimeter worth of product. You probably won't even be able to see how little of product I have dispensed, but you honestly do not need very much. And if you dispense more than that, it's likely to break off or gloop up on your lips or just be way too much product. So less is more with this type of product. So let's go ahead and apply it. And this is what the color Just Peachy looks like on me. Now this is a bit of more of a stickier kind of lip gloss type of formula. To me, it has the feeling of applying like a traditional lipstick and then a gloss on top of it because it does have quite a bit of color to it. And it also has a cooling kind of tingling sensation right now. It doesn't feel like burny or plumpy, just that very light kind of mintiness to it, which I actually quite enjoy. And I really like the amount of color that this gave too. I probably might wear just a slightly darker lip liner though to make it not too light, but 
overall I feel like it's a really fun kind of look this is a product though that if you were wearing your hair down in the wind I feel like it would absolutely get stuck to your lips so just keep that in mind if you are not a person that likes a stickier kind of lip gloss I would absolutely say do not get this product because it does have that little bit of tackiness that if you are not okay with you probably won't enjoy this product also if you don't like minty type of products i would say skip on this one i however tend to like this so this is definitely a good one for me i like this product and i could definitely see myself getting some more colors of this all right and the last two things i got i won't be trying these out today but i will be working these into my routine sometime soon to see what i think about these now i can't remember if these were things that i purchased with like my points from their point system or if they were like little freebies that i got with my order I can't remember it's been a couple weeks since I've ordered this but I did get the enhancing lash and brow serum mini and I plan on using this for my brows because I recently got the grande brow from a I think it was an allure or a boxy charm I can't remember they kind of run together in my mind but from one of those I got that product I think it was allure and I'm really wanting to try that out on my lashes to see if we can get some amazing lashes I've heard a lot of people talk really greatly about that product so I'm excited to try it out so I thought that this would be good to try out on my eyebrows because I feel like I could use a little bit more brow hair in that department so I think that I am going to use that for this over the next few weeks and then I also got the Woe Glow 30 Broad Spectrum SPF sunscreen this one is in the color Sunbeam so it looks like this is just a little tiny sunscreen sun protectant plus makeup primer so I guess it's kind of like a two-in-one type of product so that will definitely be interesting to try out I wish I would have thought to use that today but I didn't so I will probably be trying that out sometime soon so as far as my thoughts on all of these products I've tried out today so first off with the bronzing drops I do like this I don't think you need more than one color though because I really feel like they're not that drastically different so unless you just know that a certain color tone looks better on your skin I would probably go with that and also for me I find that I don't necessarily like these as much as applied in a moisturizer applied to the skin I think I definitely like it used as like a mixing kind of product with my foundation a lot more so that's how I foresee myself using these in the future next up for the blush absolutely love this I think this is wonderful and I am definitely wanting to get more colors as soon as I'm able to clear out a lot more of my liquid blush collection because I have quite a few of those so I'm working through a lot of products but in the future I could absolutely see myself buying more of these shades the mascara is still to be determined I'm leaning towards not really liking this one so much just because I feel like it didn't really give me that much to my lashes I mean they look better than no mascara but I just don't love this so far and really it's kind of the removal process that will really make or break this for me but as far as the mascara itself it didn't really do anything that amazing for me so I'm kind of leaning towards the skip it on this one unless you know you really like tubing mascaras and you're not looking for some crazy dramatic volumized lashes and of course the lip product I really like these I think these are great again if I am able to use up a lot more products in my collection I would definitely see myself getting some more of these in the future so I really enjoyed them with all of the caveats I mentioned earlier all right guys so that is it for this elf beauty try on haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe you can follow me on Instagram link is below and until my next video I will talk to you guys later bye